Hi, I'm Kara from Darling Vulgarity. I just finished watching Selkie's Shanghai Fashion Week show for their Autumn Winter 2024 collection. And I cannot wait for this collection to come out. It kills me that I have to wait so long for it. I really love when super feminine clothing is balanced with some kind of masculine detail. And in the new collection, Selkie does a lot of what it does, the frills, the corsets, um, the bows, but they use a lot of almost menswear inspired patterns. And I just think the whole thing is gorgeous. It reminded me a little bit of their plaid Jane Eyre pattern, um, of which I have the classic puff dress. So I am going to style that today and do a little review. So this is Selkie's classic puff dress in the Jane Eyre pattern. I am wearing a size large, which is actually pretty small for me. Um, the puff dress is one of the only ones where I can get away with squeezing into a large. Um, and I probably need an extra large, but really it fits fine. Um, I usually wear an extra large or even an extra extra large sometimes if I don't want things to feel so constricting, which I often don't. But this one fits nicely. It's just tight across the bust which I don't mind, um, I just don't wear a bra with it. And unlike a lot of the other puff dresses where you can see through this area, with the Jane Eyre, I don't feel like you have that see-through factor with you do that you do with a lot of the solid color puff dresses, especially the pastel ones. The sleeves are lovely. It zips up the back. And the length is short, but I am totally comfortable in it at 5'4". I really love the idea of playing up the menswear aspect of the print. So one way to style it is you could add a blazer. And I have some platform loafers. This to me seems like, you know, a more feminine business casual look. This outfit is definitely giving me Christmas vibes right now, and I'm here for it. Um, so the top is actually by Vixen. It's their uh, velvet wrap top in olive. Their wrap tops are such great layering pieces. So I've layered it over the top of the puff and I think the color has, has allowed me to combine the Jane Eyre red plaid print with the green Beth plaid print from Selkie's Little Women collection. Um, I love this purse. It just reminds me of being a little girl and having like the muff in winter time. Um, I had to have it. <laughs> Would you wear mix and match plaid? I don't think it looks too bad. Let me know in the comments. Another option is to layer a nice long sleeve lace top underneath of the puff dress. Uh, you can do this with any combination of the classic puff dress and just long sleeve lace tops, which you can get a lot of places right now. This is the Free People Lady Lux layering top. I just got it and it's this nice rust color that really, I think, goes well with the Jane Eyre print. I'm a millennial, so I kind of discovered what cool was during the early, mid, grunge, riot girl era 90s. Doc Martens and dresses, to me, are still the definition of cool. So, my last styling idea is put a pair of Doc Martens with it. If I can ever pair Doc Martens with a dress, I'm going to. So you'll probably see that a lot in my videos. So, I've got the motorcycle jacket and some classic black Docs. That's what I got for this one. I'm gonna link the Selkie Shanghai Fashion Week show below so that you can watch it. It is gorgeous and so much fun to watch. If you liked this video or found value in it, then subscribe. I'm hopefully gonna be releasing more videos very soon. Definitely leave me a comment about how you style your puff dresses. I love talking about styling and exchanging tips. So, you know, I will personally answer every comment. Uh, thanks for watching.